Hey, what's happening guys? We're going to talk again about some desoldering techniques. In uh, the original video we did, we used desoldering braid. And it's, you know, it's pretty simple, showed you how that worked. But it's not always the best choice, especially if you have multi-layer boards or plated through holes. In those cases, there are a couple other different techniques to use, and we're going to look at one of those today. And that is a desoldering iron that has a built-in desoldering pump. Now, you can get these from uh, low-cost ones that cost, you know, less than $20 to ones that cost hundreds of dollars. And uh, I'm not advocating anybody get the hundreds of dollar ones here unless you know this is what you do for a living if it is what you do for a living then you know you're going to want the best stuff you can get and chances are you have it or your company provides it so what we're going to talk about today is a lower cost version and that's this guy right here what we've got here is a uh, a 30 watt desoldering iron pump and how well you guys can see that, the tip. So you're going to focus. Come on, there you go. There we go. The tip is hollow. So what you can do is you can get that hollow tip in that soldering mound, in that little mountain of solder you created. And it will allow you to pull that out. So this one is one of the cheaper ones. This is a, a 30 watt iron. Let's see if we can focus on that, huh? So it's a 30 watt. It's a uh, what's called a thermally balanced iron. That means it's not temperature controlled. And it is a manual pump. You press the plunger in, it loads it. You put it on what you're going to desolder. Once the solder is wet and flowing, you press the trigger, and it should suck the solder out. So I'm going to fire up this iron, and we'll take a look at how it works. All right, I think I've got this nice and warm now. So what we'll do is we'll load up the plunger here. Then we just take the tip... Put it over what we want to desolder and press the button. And I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, so I'm going to zoom in here as we do it again. Okay. We're going to desolder this one. You can see the little mound of solder right there. Put that on there like that. Let it sit for a couple seconds. Press the button. And presto changeo. You can now get your component out. See? See how it's loose? And boom, out comes your component. Now, this works good for plated through holes. It's not the best. There are two other techniques we're going to get to in the future that I really like. One of them is the very expensive desoldering pump that's like, you know, $250. And the other one uses hollow needles. And it's just, it's an amazing thing. You can see how well this actually works. And this is cheap. These are um, about 10 or 15 bucks. Now, they're not going to work real good for multi layer boards. You know, if you got a four layer board. I think I found for those, the best things are the very expensive desoldering pumps. But. This is better than the wick, 
especially on plated through holes. Because it allows you to suck the solder out of the holes, which can be an issue. See how easy the stuff just comes out of there? It just basically falls out. Now we've got this IC here. And ICs that are soldered in can be one of the trickier things to deal with. So we'll see what kind of job this does on it. For this, I prefer the hollow needles. Like I said, we'll see how this does. Let's take a look up there. If it'll focus. Yeah, that's not doing... That's not doing bad at all. And what's nice about this is it's quick, it's clean. Couple seconds on there and cleans everything out. Now this is a 30 watt iron, you might be saying that's a little bit heavy duty for delicate electronics work, but you have to balance heat against the time that your components are on there. So it didn't do a great job, but it did better than the wick would have done. And that's, like I said, just another technique available for desoldering. This is the uh, manual desoldering pump. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.